Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a haul from the January sales. So most of the items I'm going to be showing you are clothing items and I've got a couple of um, extra bits in there to show you as well, just for good measure. Um, so I'm going to get straight into this one. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this haul, do give it a little thumbs up. Okay, so as you know, I have been trying to avoid buying too many clothes, or should I say impulse buys. That's what I've been trying to avoid. As you've seen before, I've had a wardrobe declutter last year, but obviously I do like buying lots of clothes, um, don't we all? Um, so I've been trying to really think about my purchases and just um, give it a bit of consideration as to how much wear I'm going to be getting out of the items and also how I can style the items with different outfits to create different looks. So, with that in mind, when I went to the January sales, I was quite selective in what I chose. Um, so hopefully, um, these items will last me... Just can't believe this. But that, there goes the one take video. I'm gonna be editing. Thank you, neighbors. Okay, so the first thing that I've got to show you is this coat. I did pick up a few coats. Topman had a really good sale on. I think it's still running, so I'll link it down below for you if you want to go and check it out. And this is the first coat that I picked up. It's this oversized trench coat. So it's quite long. It goes down to, I think, just below the knee. And it's this um, very fine check design on there. So this has got a blue and a burgundy running through it, but it's a grey jacket overall. And it's got this big collar on it, and it's also got a belt and a buckle that you can tie around the waist. And it's um, double-breasted at the front with the um, buttons going on. So I just really liked this coat. I thought it'd be a good one to take me into spring. And I think this is one that you can wear quite formal and you can also um, make it look a bit more street, maybe with some trainers, or you could pop a sweatshirt or a hoodie underneath it. Um, and mix it up a bit. I've also seen these being worn with denim jackets underneath as a layered piece. Um, yeah, so it's nice and silky inside. It feels really nice. And this was down to £38 in their sale, down from £85. So I thought a really good buy, a good price, and I think it looks quite... Sorry about this. And I think this looks quite high-end as well. I'll be putting all of these outfits on my Instagram. If you want to follow me over there to see how I put outfits together, things from the high street as well as thrifted items or things I picked up in charity shops, even car boot sales, then um, please pop over to my Instagram. It is Mr. Carrington, the word Mr. and then Carrington. The next coat that I picked up in Top Man was this beautiful chocolate brown long overcoat. So this is a wool mixed jacket. I got this in a size medium. Oh, by the way, the last one I actually got in a size small because it's oversized and you'll see over on Instagram Instagram how that fits and you'll see it is quite a big coat so um, yeah I went for a small with that but this is a medium and this is kind of true to size I would say um, it's got some really nice detailing on the pockets which I really liked this kind of leather going on there and also in the buttonholes and yeah it's nice and warm but not too heavy you know sometimes a coat like this can weigh you down a bit and this just feels really nice on i think the color's really good and i think i will be definitely getting a lot of wear out of this one i bought a similar kind of overcoat from h&m last year in navy blue and i've worn that loads and i think this will be one that i'll be wearing a lot it will be great to take me into spring and then i'll pick it up again in autumn it's a really nice color for autumn isn't it and i think the quality just looks really nice Nice. It's kind of been brushed, so it's got that kind of um, cashmere look going on as well. And this one was reduced to £49 down from £85. If I can find any of these, I will link them below, and if not, I will just link the sales down below so you can go and have a little look. The third jacket I bought, yes, I did buy three coats, but I do think all of these are investment pieces, was this biker jacket. So this is a real leather biker jacket, and this was also from Top Man, and I've got this in a size small. I just felt like the medium was looking a little bit boxy and baggy on me. So even though this will be tricky to do up, 
I think it looks a lot better and I wouldn't wear it done up anyway so size small is good for this one and this is kind of padded as well so it's got some padding going on on the arms down to here and also across the shoulders so it's really nice in the sense that it will give you a little bit of structure um, around the shoulders and the top of your arms um, yeah and it's just a really nice um, simple leather biker jacket I've had a biker jacket from Zara for I think 10 years, maybe more than 10 years, and it's still going strong, but it's a bit thinner than this. So, and um, that just goes to show that I do think a black leather biker jacket is a good investment piece. It's something that I know I'll get a lot of wear out of. And this one I thought was a really good bargain. This was down from, I think it was 160 or 120. I can't remember which, but it was down to £59, so I thought £59 for a leather um, biker jacket was really, really good. Um, it's got zip-up pockets either side, and it has a pocket in there as well. Both of those have that pocket as well. Don't know what you call that, but it's always handy, isn't it? The last thing I picked up in Topman was a pair of jeans that I'm actually wearing. I've got the tag here, and these are stretch skinny jeans, and these were reduced from £30 to £10, which I thought was a really good price. And I've got these in a size, I got 32 waist and I got 30 legs. I wanted them slightly cropped. So I'll just go and stand over there and show you what these look like. Yeah, so hopefully you can see that okay. Let me just move the chair a bit. Yeah, so basically they are very simple, kind of indigo blue um, skinny jeans and they just go down to the ankle with a 30 leg on me and I've just rolled them up a tiny bit but yeah I just really like the fit of these they're slightly elasticated I think for £10 they're an absolute bargain and I realised that I hadn't got any blue jeans left in my wardrobe I got rid of them all and I'd just been going to black jeans or grey jeans all the time so I thought it was time I got a pair of blue jeans back in the mix of things. I had a look in the Zara sale and it had some really nice things in there, but nothing that I felt like was a really good investment piece for me for the price because the reductions weren't that great. And so anything that I would have bought would probably have been what I would call an impulse buy. Really nice stuff in bright colors and things that are a bit out there, but I just thought, how much wear am I going to be getting out of these items? Not a lot. And to be honest, the shopping experience in there stressed me out, so I avoided it. However, I did have a little look in TK Maxx while I was in Germany, and I picked up a pair of Zara trousers in TK Maxx. I didn't know they did uh, Zara. I've not seen sort of high street brands like that in TK Maxx before. I've seen All Saints in there, but I've never seen Zara or Top Man or anything like that. But these were in there. Um, these are a pair of burgundy cropped trousers, and these were an absolute bargain at seven euros. And I just think I was really lucky to find these because these are definitely something that I would have bought in store. You may remember the checked ones that I bought from Zara last, uh, this time last year actually, it was last January, that I need to get some more wear out of. Um, so I'll be digging those out as well. But I just think these are a really nice pair of smart trousers and a nice pop of colour that um, often I wouldn't wear on my leg. <laughs> so if I wear everything else, either black or neutral with these, I think they'll look really cool. And I can imagine them looking quite nice um, with a pair of smart boots. And I got these in a size 32 uh, waist, and these are true to size. They fit quite nicely, and they're just slightly cropped um, on the leg. This is a slightly random sales purchase. It's another one from the TK Maxx that I went to in Hamburg, and it's a pair of swimming trunks. Um, they look huge, um, that's because they're a size large, which is probably a bit on the big side for me, but they've got these um, buckle things on the side, so you can take them in a bit. These were an emergency pair of swimming trunks. I just went for the cheapest ones that TK Maxx had, and in fact they only had this pair and one other from French Connection, and these were down to three euros. So they were a total bargain, and they were literally um, just because I forgot to pack my swimming trunks, and we were going to a spa um, that day, so I needed to um, get some swimming shorts. Um, so yeah, I now have a new pair of swimming shorts in my swimming shorts collection which is quite big and probably needs to be part of the declutter when that bit of a declutter happens. Yeah, we've got, there's definitely more than 10 pairs, which is ridiculous. On to a couple of random items. I picked up a candle in Selfridges. This one is by True Grace 
and it is vine tomatoes. It's still got the label on it, so as you can see, it was £20 and down to £8. This smells of tomatoes on the vine, like in a greenhouse, mixed with the flesh of the tomato when you chop the tomato open. So you can smell the leaves, if that makes sense. Do you know where I'm going with that? So the leaf bit of the tomato you can smell. It's got like that fuzziness smell. And then it's got the chopped open tomato smell that smells a bit salady. Does that make sense? Um, so very tomato-y. Um, if you like a fresh tomato, kind of a summery, yeah, fresh scent, then um, this is a good, Candle and it says tomato slowly ripening plump on the vine the fragrance of leaf and fruit There we are. So yeah, you can definitely smell both. It's it's a good one This it, it is true to what it says on the tin and it is a tin as well um, Yeah, it's kind of like a metal container So I need to get this sticker off and tidy it up a bit But um, I'll be burning that into the spring then I popped into the lush sale and I got this uh, gift box, which was half price, so this was down to, doesn't say on it, I think it was about £12 half price, and this has inside it the Lord of Misrule shower cream, let me show you that actually, I'll show you all of this, um, 100 grams of that, it's got 120 grams of ice, ice shoggle soap, and it also has Cristingle body conditioner, 50 grams. Um, so we may as well open this and then I'll be able to show you the um, contents. The Lord of Misrule shower cream is something that I've spoken about before on my blog. I'm trying to get back onto my blog a bit, but YouTube has been taking over. Um, but hopefully I will return to writing some blog posts this year. So if you want to have a read of my blog and you haven't before, um, feel free to pop over there as well. I'll link that one down below for you. Um, I'm going to probably put on some of these outfits when I put them all together onto the blog. Um, I went to take some photos this morning of the coats. So that's something that will be going up soon on there, hopefully. And that's, I guess if there's anything that you think would be good for a blog post, feel free to let me know. That wouldn't necessarily be a video. So if you want me to write you a list, for example, I always think lists are quite good blog posts. So if you want like a 10 suggestions of something or 10 things to do somewhere, anything like that, or if you've just got any kind of things that you think would be good on a blog as opposed to a video, I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, because yeah, as I say, it's kind of been on the back burner a little bit because YouTube's keeping me very busy, along with Instagram and working a lot <laughs> um, and trying to sort the house out and all the rest of it. So um, yeah, I would love your input on that and I'll see if I can get back on the old blog, um, which is where all of this started. So um, we have, this is the Lord of Misrule shower cream. So as I just said, this has been um, featured on my blog before because I really love this product. Um, it comes out like green poster paint. Um, I won't demonstrate because you know, carpet and stuff. And it's called Shower Cream. Expose yourself to this intoxicatingly naughty concoction crowned in earthy patchouli, hot spices, and frothy revelry. So this is kind of spicy, peppery. Then it's got sweetness in it as well. So like that borderline sickly sweetness going on. It just smells amazing and yeah, it's really nice to use in the shower, um, especially in winter time, I think it's um, really good. And kids love this as well um, because obviously it just comes out green like poster paint. And then this is the Chris Single Body Conditioner. Cover the skin with the fresh feeling of crisp... <laughs> Cover the skin with the feeling of fresh crisp snow by smothering on invigorating spearmint and grapefruit oils for a citrus and mint kick. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, it just smells like toothpaste. <laughs> I've not tried this before. Um, it literally smells like, yeah, it smells like rubbing Colgate on yourself. But maybe, um, <laughs> if I'm honest, maybe, it, um, where's the citrus? I'm still getting toothpaste, if I'm honest. It's quite relaxing though, the mint's quite, Quite relaxing if you take a big sniff of that. This would be a nice product to take on a flight and just um, rub onto your hands and take a deep breath. Um, or something like that. Um, but yeah, okay, that's not quite what I expected, but um, it's all right. But it is 
like toothpaste. And then the soap. Oh, that smells good. It smells very clean. <laughs> what a silly thing to say about soap. But it's got that clean, I've just been washed and scrubbed smell going on. It's quite um, delicate. What's it say? This is patchouli, bergamot and labdanum. It's not particularly strong, so I'm struggling to describe it. Um, but yeah, Lush soaps, always nice in the bathroom. I like to um, put them out on a little tray in there and yeah, always nice to use. Um, right, so that is everything that I've got to show you. I hope you enjoyed this little haul from the January sales. Um, yeah, not a huge one, but as I say, I am trying to um, think about my purchases a little bit more this year. So um, some of the hauls may not be as big, but what I will do is visit the shops and vlog in store. So I will definitely be bringing you loads of inspiration, but I'm just not bringing as much of it into my home so that I don't end up like one of those hoarders you see on um, yeah, TLC or whatever that channel is where the hoarders are. Um, yeah, I'd rather not be on one of those shows. <laughs> so um, that is everything. Um, I really hope you enjoyed um, this video. Don't forget to click subscribe if you're new here and do give this haul a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm going to be coming back to you with a video soon on how I style each of these three coats with the same outfit. So basically I'm going to put together a simple outfit that will complement all three of those coats. So kind of like a capsule wardrobe kind of video. So that's coming for you very soon. So um, yeah, hopefully that'll give you some ideas. And don't forget, you can follow me over on Instagram. It's Mr. Carrington, the word Mr. and then Carrington. Also, if you're interested in my home, feel free to follow me over on my home account. It's Mr. Carrington Home. And that's where I post pictures of my home and my buys and my homeware and any thrifted or boot sale items that I've picked up. And also on my stories there, I will be sharing my um, homeware finds and my Poundland picks as well. Um, so yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye. This is gonna be pretty much a one take wonder video, I'm hoping. Let's just go for it. These items will last me. Just can't believe this. There, that, there goes the one take video. I'm gonna be editing. Thank you, neighbors. So, so yeah, when I hit the sales, I, um, I've been quite, I'm going to come back with, there's a fly, sorry. I'm going to be coming back to you soon with a video on how I style up these three coats with one outfit. So I'm going to put a single outfit together. Sorry. Where were we?